Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tabby Basic, and welcome back to the Moweed Pack. And I remember very little about where I was in this game, but I do remember that... Eh. Eh. There we go. I do remember that I wanted to swap over to uh, one of these two this time. I couldn't figure out where I was, what I was going to do with that. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, let's go ransom. I need to stay focused and solve. Hi. There we go. Hello, Ransom the Insult Clown. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. Yes, I can tell. It's so weird to watch the whole thing shake. Like it's that. my cheese. I'm letting it age. Gross. I see. Get everyone in town to hate me. Check. <laughs> Feed the little beeper. Get package at post office. Try moving makeup again. Collect 34 more specks of dust. Why you gotta collect all the dust? No thanks. Better leave it where it is. What am I gonna feed the dude with? Oh, jeez, apparently. Why? The official ransom the clown underwear. Haven't had time to wash them yet. Why you got underwear on the table, dude? It's a ransom the clown comic. Issue number one. That's got to be worth something. So I don't like to make my bed. Who the f cares? I don't make my bed either. It's an attempted delivery notice. What's Package that? held at Thimbleweed Park Post Office for Ransom the Clown. I'm not going to search the circus for you, Ransom. George the Postman. Well, well thank you. you, Georgie, you lazy f I was going to say thank you, Georgie, but okay. It's Lil Beeper, my pet hamster. I'm <laughs> very hungry. Lil Beeper is lactose intolerant. If I give him cheese, then the whole trailer smells like farts. Gross, dude. I miss my housekeeper. <laughs> so I can't wash the dishes. It's pouring out water, but it won't remove the fossilized food from my plates. Dude, clean your house. Place is a mess. <gasps> Speck of dust. It's my old trampoline. Brings back memories. Can we use it? I need to be higher to jump on it. Well, this is higher. That's too far to jump from here. Man, ooh, speck of dust. I need to be higher to jump on it. You need to be higher to shut up. Right. Yeah. Ah, speck of dust. Oh. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little Beeper loves this crap. Gotcha. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. You are... Such a wimp, dude. I can't leave the circus till I feed Lil Beeper. Okay. Stupus Raveling Bother Circus. <gasps> Speck of dust. Hello. Guess we're not giving the rat any cheese. It's my cheese. I'm letting it age. Shut up. What you got? You got popcorn, dude? Stop dealing with that popcorn. Have the cheese. I gotta find something to put that popcorn in. It's empty. The rats and I cleaned it out years ago. Gross. That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. Gross. <gasps> Speck of dust. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. There we go. Well, that's one. Lil Beeper loves it. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Lil Beeper. Okay, two. I can count. Am I really 
Rats having more fun at this than I am. Not even half full yet. This sucks. Almost half full. Half full now. This is taking two. At this rate, it'll be 1988 before I... This is gonna take forever. There's gotta be a better way. There's gotta be a better way. <laughs> Stop complaining, dude. Oh, hey. That's nice of them. I gave them the cheese and they gave me pop. It's a full bag of popcorn. Thanks, little rats. Here you go, little beeper. Enjoy your crap. <laughs> I gotta see if he's got a wallet around here. Does he got one of them ransom clown wallets? It's my next lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. Gross, I'm dude. in the phone book. He definitely screwed me. Looks like a rat hole. So is your house. Tickets. 25 cents. I actually expected to get... Yo, know, hey, you can't come in here. I was expecting him to tell me I can't leave the place, but hey. Since I could... I ain't gonna complain. That's the bus stop. That's not where I needed to be. Ransom, what are you doing here? The latest issue of Humongous Honka Honkas won't be mailed for at least another week. <laughs> you, George. You got my back. Visit the post office without the third degree. Sheesh! Someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? Uh. Hey, George, you lazy. I want to pick up my package. Bring me out a package. Let me see that. Shove it in his face. Okay, one moment. And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? You haven't paid your taxes in years. What do you think sorts all outgoing mail? He would well, know. <laughs> you. Ah, you guys are so nice to each other. It's addressed to me, Ransom the Clown. That doesn't seem to work. Open. There's a note inside. Dear Mr. Clown, we hereby return your defective samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare endangered species of bird, and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. That sounds Please dangerous. Please do not contact us again. What a bunch of wads. Well. I don't know why it's dangerous like that. Thimbleweed Park guided tours? Ah, shut up, you bum. I'm gonna go investigate that clown. He's gonna give me a wallet. Yes. Oh, clowny boy. I want that wallet. Uh, yes. You got any gluten free donuts? No, but I got a tall glass of shut up. Thimbleweed Park guided tours? Hey, creepy clown. Hey, buy me a drink. Why do you swear so much? You. Okay. I wish I could say it's been a pleasure. Right. Eh, give me a clown. You got any loose change? Get lost, Ransom. I'll do what I can to help you find the killer. But only because I know you pin it on me just out of spite. Just making my quota of squashing scumbags. Hey, I'm not a scumbag. You said it once, I'll say it again. You, Red. <laughs> All right. Ah, I'm bored now. Here, here, here. Take this wallet. We'll pretend that you know what I want. Want a free wallet? It's just reminding me of how awful my life is now. Yes. I do want a free wallet. All right, you. Uh, where's your map? That's the circus flyer. Sorry. I can't put it in there. Yes, you can. Shut up. For some reason, um, our buddy Ransom wants the dust specs. Not sure if I know why. Hello. Hey, buy me a drink? No. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? What the f dust? 
You're the one that has it on your to-do list, dude. I think you'll like this. I have a new wallet for you. Can I have the muddy I one? I have a new wallet for you. Can I have your muddy one? I could use a clean wallet, thanks. Here's my old one. We'll talk <laughs> later. Don't leave town. Yeah. Where would I go? Don't know. Dimbleweed Park guided tours? Hello again. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Why did I need the wallet again? Why did I need the wallet again? Buy me a drink? No. There's nothing inside. No money, nor any ID. Blah. You got any ransom swag? Hello, Bloodtron. Nice. Now what else do I need for the Bloodtron? Blood swab from the body. We got that. But we need to find a way to dry it out first. Because it's a little too weak, or a little too bloody. Loose change? Loose shut up. No way am I going in there. She is a crazy, a vengeful witch. <laughs> Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Just taking your map, dude. Thanks. There's a lot of places I haven't been to out here. All right, so let's go to Trailhead first. I don't know why, but let's go there. <gasps> Look at the puddle. Well, that was weird. It's a puddle full of muddy water. <gasps> Speck of dust. Where'd Pizza Boy go? I saw him angry out here. Oh no, is this a freaking puzzle? Wait, wait, wait. It's a bush with red berries on it. Uh oh. Jesus Christ. Ow. Stop, stop. Bleeding. That bush is razor sharp. I'm sorry, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Okay, so this is a dead end. The future used to be a wonderful thing. Yeah, I believe it. Foreclosed by order of Safely First Savings. And in small print, for inquiries, contact Safely First Savings, probate executor of this property. Weird. It's a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed. Get the key for the factory gate. I don't know where that is. All right, let's go to her. <gasps> Speaking of I know what happened to Dad. Practice ASCII, get the factory gate, talk to Lenore in the library, collect 27 more bags of dust. The fireplace is very sooty and filled with ash. Pick it up. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. I was not expecting that to work. <gasps> Blood. They haven't done anything with this since I was here last. Years ago. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing. There's nothing. In there's nothing inside. Apparently, there's nothing inside. Huh. I see. Not even a speck of dust. Where the hell have you been, Dolores? Out there. We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Uh. Take a chill pill, Lenore. Toast, I had to answer dog. the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. Does the Pope Let's flip? get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Oy. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and Ugh. broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. Oh, you this think I killed him, huh? Dolores. Oh, you shut up, lady. Chucky must be their boy. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Ugh, stop bothering Peter. Who the heck is Peter? Ah. Who's Uncle Chuck's lawyer? 
we're going to have to go investigate Uncle Chuck's workroom to find out where Uncle Chuck's lawyer is. It ah. feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. I believe it. Looks like an old receipt. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Hmm, that could be useful. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Why is this puzzle or painting hmm. shiny? Uncle Chuck was always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? Hmm. Uncle Chuck was always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? I wonder. That looks like Uncle Chuck. <coughs> 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 All right, let's look at this. Huh? Started this journal to keep a record of my progress. Further storing might find it interesting. I feel on the verge of something great. So oh, apparently... Chuck was a strange and complicated person. Indeed, Dolores. So apparently, Agent Reyes' dad worked at the pillow factory the night it burnt down. And they and he died I'm not there. Going to carry this big checkbook around. And, he, and, and uh, he'd been warning... Chuck about AI problems for a while and then Chuck tried to pin the fire on him because he died in the fire interesting and he was developing AI and trying to talk, think about making games which was you know good for Dolores but he got mad when she decided to leave although he got excited when he found out you know she's still making games I knew it wouldn't work for me Oh well. Here, put this back down. Don't want anyone else finding that. Hey, Doug. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. You Ta, keep Dolores. up. You keep up that dig, Doug. I do weird. <gasps> Speck of dust. Hope you Thimbleweed Park guided tours. Shut up. Hello, Agent Reyes. Catch the killer yet? Loose change. Oh, you hate that guy. Catch the killer yet? Not yet. But we're getting close. Then Thimbleweed Park will be safe again. Cool. Got any loose change. I need to go. Oh, I love carrying stuff. All right. I need to stay focused and solve this murder. Yeah, you so I do. Can do what I need. Hey, buy me a drink. Shot it. Fascinating. So does this help you on you your thing at all? Free donuts. Hmm. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? Shut up, Willie. Right, the one place we haven't been yet is the radio station. It says, Phone Tron 3000, for when you need to handle hundreds of phone calls. Jeez. of heights yeah you're climbing that no way am i climbing that oh, i'm you afraid wimp. of heights all right there's a lever up there i wanted to pull the feds are watching us make no mistake about it the only way to protect yourself is to fight back and now back to our special hostile takeover song pretty disgusting Looks like it was repaired with glue or something sticky. Ew. I don't want to know more. Well, she's got a lever too. Booty I remember down. that poster. It gave me nightmares. 
There's a thick layer of dust on it. And a message. No one's taking my desk or anything else in here. I have glue. C.S. Ew. Speak nest. Speak nest. Saves trees. Do you work? It does. It does. It's working. The paper is drying out. <coughs> nice. <laughs> Loose change? Loose, shut up. You got any gluten free donuts? Feds. Here we go. Now we are all in the same place except for him. Trying to talk to Dolores. I gotta bring Dolores here. Okay. What we got, what we got, what we got. This is the blood report I've been waiting for. Alright. Blood report, bloody wallet, corpse blood. The blood in the wallet matches the body's blood accuracy 100%. Uh, I knew that. ID for the victim in the hotel. Three reports in a restaurant, okay. But we're actually going to go ahead and give it to Dolores because she's nicer than you. Thanks. I've been collecting dust pixels for years. Ah. So she really wants them. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take you off to uh, the quickie pal and get a, a country map. That way you can make it a lot easier to get back to the hotel. Now. Talk to. Dolores, it's me, Dad. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. Uh-huh. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. Uh-huh. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. Uh-huh. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Uh huh. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. Uh -huh. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Dolores, can you see me? No, she I'm can't. standing right here. You're floating. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. All right, now I gotta go visit Chuck. What? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. What do I need to do with you? There are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. <laughs> uh, Alright, how do we get her to let us up? Xavier says talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Leave me alone. Ugh. <sighs> Oh. I wonder what the guest is up to now. 1007. Nice. Nothing, dude. Still nothing. Alright, I think we all need to be at the hotel right now. I heard a rumor your maintenance people aren't available tonight. Why don't you try the Pigeon Brothers? Why, Abu, that's exactly what we need. Thank you so much, Abu. You're welcome. I have a funny idea. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but I have a funny idea. His wallet didn't have his thing on him. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pocket. <sighs> but I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. Why didn't I do that before? It's a hotel key card from the dead man. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park 
Why didn't I look at that before? I'm such a nincompoot. All right, 601. Here we are. The label says Pillow Bear. I wonder how it got here. <gasps> Who knows? <laughs> yes. Pigeon Brothers are paranormal. Uh, paranormal whatchamacallers. Investigators. What was that? There we go. Again? Maybe I didn't imagine it. <laughs> that poor man. Maybe these new people can help a boo him. Poultry Brothers plumbing a boo? We've got a maintenance emergency a boo right now. You can be here right away. Thank a boo you. Thank a boo to you too. <laughs> there we go. Pleasure, brothers. These girls can handle it. We received a signal that you're in need of some paranormal electrical help. Thanks. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> okay. Boo! I don't want to disturb the professionals. I don't want to disturb the professionals. All right, let's get out of here then. Not sure what that did. Xavier says talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Shot Leave it. me alone. All right. Let's change over to Ray here. Let's go put the passport in the thingy. Government German ID identified as suspicious German businessman Boris Schultz. Okay. And with that, we have all three of them. We just need Reyes' dumb butt over here, too. It doesn't seem to be working. Insert three reports from the Bloodtron 3000. Fingertron. It doesn't seem to be working. It seems to be missing a tube. Of course it is. Fix the missing a restaurant tube. Ugh. Hey there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. Hi, Ricky. Um. That's all for now. That's not Don't helpful. Don't leave town. Thanks. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. Will do. All right, let's go to Dolores. All right. Hope you're enjoying. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Hey, Welcome Ricky. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. Um. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm. I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Okay. Yes, here it is. This Thanks. is a top-of-the-line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. And noise. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. All right. See, where was there an extra tube I could use? It won't work on that size tube. It's for a TX... It's a special tool to remove vacuum tubes in the TX... There's one on the toilet. We can check that one out. It won't work on that size tube. It's for a TX-1138 size tube. That's a WC-67. Huh. I look good. It's a special tool to remove vacuum I know tubes what it is. in the TX and AT class. A noise. Alright, now the important part is, will this work? Not much I can do with a burned out vacuum tube. Oh, for Christ's sake. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. How can I help you? Uh, 
Maybe I can just talk to the dude, huh? All right, well, I'm a bit stumped. I don't know what I'm supposed to do from here. I'm gonna leave it here and uh, try to figure out we'll what I'm supposed later. to do. I'm gonna go don't through town. Where would I go? Shut up. And try to... Hey, buy me a drink? No. I'm gonna go through town. I'm gonna try to figure out... Shut up. Which uh, vacuum tube I need. Oh, this is annoying. But anyway... That's it for me for today. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Thimbleweed Park. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please go and poke that like button for me if you'd like to see more from me. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can, when I can, if I can. You know all that jazz. And tune in next time for more Thimbleweed Park mysteries. And until then, good night.